If you had a 12 ounce steak in front of you, you're not just gonna try to shove the whole thing in your mouth. That'd be very painful and wouldn't work out well. You wanna take smaller bites, what I call micro commitments versus macro commitments. If you have a high ticket, large offer that you're making to them to buy a program, a life-changing program, or very expensive product, like a water machine that can be $5,000 that can change your life versus a water filter that you can go buy for $15 at the store. Hey, what's up my fellow skill stackers? It's Adrian Boisel, and today I wanna to talk to you about your purpose. I've been using my purpose to help people make a lot of profit for thousands and thousands of business owners over the last 15 years. And in today's video, I'm gonna share how you can take your purpose and your mission in life and turn that into profits so you can go ahead and help more people. Now, the first thing I'll tell you is I've helped thousands of people over the last 15 years make a ton of money sharing their purpose across their website, across videos, across all different types of content, even print design, graphics, all that fun stuff. But what's important is you understand the heart of why I'm doing this. For me, I started off as an at-risk youth, going through a lot of trials and tribulations, and I had a lot of voids in my life. And so when I talk about your purpose, I'm not talking about integrity or trust or any of those types of core values. The things that you value in your life are coming from the voids that you have in your life. So whatever your purpose is in life, you should be taking that purpose and translating it across all of your marketing, all of your messaging, and all of your business strategy to grow your brand because your vibe truly does attract your tribe. And so I want to share a quick story about my wife's business, Crunchy Cottage. Now, Crunchy Cottage is an organic natural remedy business. She makes natural remedies for your wellness to help you keep, keep you from getting sick during flu season, cold season, all the different illnesses. And she has a huge core value and a huge belief and void in her life from an experience that she went through. Her son actually had an autoimmune disorder, just like I do from getting a vaccination and is vaccine injured. There are millions and millions of people that are vaccine injured. And because of that, she has completely and radically changed her whole belief system on the medical system that we have today. And because of that, we use a lot of natural remedies to keep our immune system strong. There have been studies done about vitamin C and all kinds of stuff that I don't have time to go into that prove that natural wellness is really the true form of health and real form of wealth. And so if you can take people and help them fight off bacteria and illnesses and, and flus and all the different things that are going on in the world, naturally you give them a much greater advantage. And so she was building this basically lifestyle for herself. And through that process, she had other friends that she met that were considered crunchy moms. And through that process, she started making elderberry syrup. And through making elderberry syrup, people loved her elderberry syrup more than everybody else's and they started buying it from her. And her and her partner, at the time she had a partner, started their own business making elderberry syrup for people and just selling it by the jar because this is a natural remedy that's been around for a really long time. And through that process, she discovered a passion for helping people get well and stay well. And through this process, we built a website, we created a brand, we developed her marketing strategy, we developed her social media following. She now has over 10,000 followers on Facebook alone. She's generated over $375,000 in sales since she started this brand. And she's now scaling her business to the point where she's about to hire a co-packer and have somebody else produce her recipe so she's not having to be the one in the kitchen doing all that backbreaking work. So she's been able to build and create her own dream based on something that was really important and close to her heart. I used to see her get really upset when people would experience vaccine injuries because they were thinking that the vaccine was gonna be the solution to helping their kids not get sick during certain seasons. That wasn't the answer for her. Everybody's got a different purpose and a different mission in your life. And my goal is to help you monetize that purpose so that you can go and use that monetization to help more people. Now, there are three things I'm gonna cover that I want you to know that you need to do if you wanna monetize your passion and monetize your purpose in life. The first one is you have to be vulnerable. You have to show that you're a person. These corporate brands with no email addresses, no phone numbers where you can only do live chat or email support is, I think these things are gonna be a, a, a way of the past. The brands that win are gonna build that relationship first. They're gonna be able to share their story vulnerably, tell about where they came from, tell about why this is important to them, tell them why they need to be listening and educate the marketplace from their perspective and from their lens. Now, the second piece is you're gonna to need to understand their pain points. What is it that they're going through? What brought them to your content? What brought them to your website in the first place? What is it that they're trying to solve in their own life and their own business? 
If you're not able to clearly identify what their pain points are, maybe they have a vaccine injury. Maybe they're having trouble sleeping at night. Maybe their kids are getting sick and they're missing work all the time, right? These are pain points that my wife has discovered throughout her process and throughout our marketing strategy. Even Colloidal Silver, right, is a product that we make that she produces on her website and sells. But we found out that the one of the best uses for it and one of the highest demand uses for it is for animals. And so what we're doing now is we're creating a product just around animals with colloidal silver. She has one for people and now she has one for animals. This is really solving people's true pain points because it works well for animals and people. The third thing you need to realize about making it personal is they're asking themselves, what's in it for me? What are you gonna do for me? How can you help me? Whether that's a health checklist, whether that's what elderberry syrup does for your immune system, how to stay healthy during cold and flu seasons outside of just the elderberry, thinking about from a whole wellness standpoint, right? We've developed her own crunchy method of the seven pillars of health of how you're gonna keep your immune system from sleep to rest to stress, all the different things that we're incorporating. So we're adding value and educating the marketplace so they can have an improved way of life and have a healthier way. And that leads me to my first question. What is your purpose? What have you gone through in your life? What have you overcome in your life? What have you dealt with and been able to learn from? Is it depression, anxiety, a loss in the family, some sort of financial loss? Did you go through the 2008 um, recession? Are you going through a crazy situation from the pandemic or pandemic, whatever you want to call that? What is it that is a void that has become a value in your life that you want to see improved in the world? What breaks your heart in the world? Is it homelessness? Is it crime? Is it the police situation that's going on? Whatever that is, you can build a business around that, monetize that, and be able to help more people make a bigger impact. And that is what I exist to do. My business and my agency and everything that I do is to help create a larger social impact. The second piece to having a purpose-driven website that creates more profits is to have a clear objective. This is where a lot of people act like, okay, here's my purpose, but I don't know how to actually turn this into something. How do I actually make something out of my purpose? Well, you have to create a call to action. What is the first step? Now, you need to be thinking about this as baby steps. If you had a 12 ounce steak in front of you, you're not just gonna try to shove the whole thing in your mouth. That'd be very painful and wouldn't work out well. You wanna take smaller bites, what I call micro commitments versus macro commitments. If you have a high ticket, large offer that you're making to them to buy a program, a life-changing program, or very expensive product, like a water machine that can be $5,000 that can change your life, versus a water filter that you can go buy for $15 at the store. You have to be able to take them on that journey. So what is your first step, right? Getting them to go from the, the sheep mentality to a lion mentality. How do you change that, right? With micro commitments. So being able to take them along that journey and having a clear call to action of, hey, get on our newsletter, join our community, join this event. Whatever that call to action is, you need to have that simple call to action and don't put multiple on your page. Don't put multiple on your website, You on your offers, right? You need to have one simple offer to get them started. Now, the next piece of this is you need to have a pillar piece. So if you're talking about natural wellness, well, what are the different elements of natural wellness? That is the one main content series we could call it is natural wellness. And then inside of that, like I said, you have stress, you have sleep, you have um, immunity, you have all these different pillars. There's seven different pillars of health and you need to be able to walk them through that. So you can create something around immunity. Okay, within immunity, what about your immune system? What about cold and flu, right? There's endless pieces of content you can create and you have specific pages for those that all lead back to the same thing of this is how you create a strong immune system, right? The next piece of this is building the relationships, getting them to move into some sort of place where you show that you actually care and you wanna to get to know them. So having a webinar, doing a live video, right? Engaging them in some way, sending them emails on a regular basis, sending them a text message, however you're gonna build that relationship, that's what you need to do in your objective. So step one, get on my email list. Okay, once you're in my email list, I'm gonna create a series of emails that's gonna lead them to getting on one of my live events or one of my calls or one of my trainings or one of my workshops, right? Then once you do the workshops, then I'm gonna show you what you need to do in that workshop for the basics to getting started, right? And so you're gonna lead them down that pathway and that's all gonna be connected to building that relationship over time and not just trying to get them to go home with you and, and buy the whole thing and, and eat the whole elephant all at once. Now, the next piece to this, as far as getting a clear objective is what is an email subscriber worth to you? What is that purchase worth to you? If they're buying a jar of $25, $30 elderberry syrup, we're probably not gonna to wanna to pay more than five or $10 to acquire that person. But if we're just getting them to email, to opt into an email list, 
I may be able to get that person for a dollar to five dollars, right? And through that email sequence, I can get them to buy that $25 product or $30 product or the average order value for Country Cottage is about $60. So if I can get that $60 purchase, I'm willing to spend $5 to get that $60 purchase because I know my email copy is gonna be good and it's gonna lead them to making that first purchase. So this is something you should be thinking about is those micro commitments you can buy for a lot cheaper and that is gonna help you when you have a clear objective of, hey, how much does it cost me to buy all that e email subscriber versus trying to get this purchase, get them to bite the whole thing all at once when they don't know anything about what I'm doing and the value of it. So now that you know you need to make it personal and you know you need to have a clear objective, what would the third part be? The third part is creating an irresistible offer. Now, a newsletter can be an irresistible offer, but there are other types of irresistible offers. I'm curious, do you currently have an irresistible offer on your website, on your social media? Are you using a link tree, right? Are there irresistible offers inside of the things that you're putting in front of people currently? If there's not, this is the part of the video that you're gonna love because I'm gonna offer you a ton of advice here. This is where I've spent a lot of time over the last couple of years really enhancing and growing in. The key to building these successful relationships is offering value upfront. Doing a free event, doing a free workshop, offering a checklist for what, what you should buy, what you should don't buy, what are the most toxic chemicals in your house. The next thing is once you've offered that upfront value, you need to continue to offer upfront value until the point where they're like, I'm ready to make this lifestyle change, right? Creating the irresistible offer. A technical rule that Russell Brunson and other people like to talk about is having 10X the value. So maybe you offer somebody $100 worth of value but you give it away for $10. So maybe their first purchase of elderberry syrup is a smaller eight ounce jar and it's only 10 bucks, right? You give them a little bit of a taste of it and once they taste how incredible it is and they know how much it's gonna benefit, they're like, I have to order this. Then you say, hey, since you pushed, placed your first order with us, we would love to offer you a subscription deal and we're gonna give you 10, 15, 20% off of your monthly subscription if you order this from us on a regular basis. And here's why you should be taking this on a regular basis and offering more education on why you wanna take this frequently, right? Once you've created that, now you're able to package up that offer in a unique way. One of the things I've done within my business is I have all of my different products and services that I offer, like my website specifically, is uniquely packaged. I offer a coach, I offer brand strategy, I offer marketing strategy, I offer the most cutting edge technology, I offer a lot of different things that nobody else does, and I package it so that my website program is future-proof and is connected to your purpose. So it is called the Purpose Driven Website Program. The Purpose Driven Website Program that helps you actually monetize and make a profit from your purpose. This is a really big deal. So once you're able to package it like that, nobody else has a Purpose Driven Website Program that helps you monetize your purpose. This is something that I've been able to do because this is my unique story and my unique background and my unique value that I have that I believe in and that, I, that drives me every single day to get up and do what I'm doing. The last part to offering upfront value is being able to capture this data and getting these micro commitments versus the macro commitments. Once you're able to capture their data and bring them into a nurturing sequence, it's almost unlimited what you can do. You can get feedback from them, you can bring them into a Facebook group, you can do surveys and polls, you can show them different ads, and you can start to learn more and more how the users are converting into your funnel. This is something that's really important to listen. You can learn as you collect more data of how users are converting into your funnel. So maybe they visit your website and then they leave and then they go to Google and they type in your website's brand name. And then they see reviews about your brand. And then they see, okay, looking for a discount code. And then they go to see a discount code for the specific product you offer. Here's a discount code, they copy that discount code. They go to back to your website now with a direct search, right? Or maybe they click on it from an ad, they paste the coupon code, they hit apply. You can now track the coupon code. You can now track the direct search. You can track all this information and all this data to see, okay, this, I had 100 conversions on my website, and this is the common trait that 90%, 80%, 70% of people are doing to get to my website. So I'm gonna fine tune and refine this so that this is the pathway that majority of people are gonna fall, and I'm gonna double down on this. This is gonna allow you to take your personalization of your story, your passion, your objectives, and why you're doing what you're doing, creating that clear objective, 
giving them that irresistible offer, showing them what's in it for them, building a real relationship, and then actually solving the problems that they came and that they, they came there for and that they're looking to solve. And then from there, collect data to be able to scale that more and more and more to where you go from a small little mom and pop business, working out of your kitchen, to having a commercial kitchen, to hiring a co-packer and to growing a business to potentially millions and millions of dollars. And hopefully with Crunchy Cottage opening up franchises across the country, they can bring moms in and that moms can create their own jobs from home and make a significant amount of money per year working part-time. How amazing would that be, right? This is what we're trying to do with Crunchy Cottage. This is the business and the future that we're trying to build, but we have a clear objective. We know what we're standing for. We know what we stand against and we have an irresistible offer with the products that no one will find out there. There's nothing out there that's like it. So I hope this was really helpful for you. If you wanna get help taking your passion and your purpose and turning that into profit, all you gotta do is click the link down in the description to meet with me. I would love to meet with you one-on-one, -on -one, hear about what you have going on, hear about your project, see if I can help in some way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. If you have any feedback or comments, you love to hate it, drop a like, drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.